All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is Angle Relationships in Circles. This is Module 19.5 in our Integrated Math 2 class. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. So here's our question. Uh, what are the relationships with other angles formed inside and outside a circle? Okay, so recall um, uh, from prior uh, modules, uh, prior lessons, uh, central angles are the same as their arcs out here. So if that's 50, then that's 50 right there inscribed angles, that's what this is right here, are half their intercepted arcs. So if that's 160, we take half and that'll give us that one right there. Semicircles are 180, okay, so half a circle is 180, so if it goes through the diameter right there. Otherwise, we have these other angles that are inside and outside. So here's, here's one. So a tangent and a chord that intersect um, at the point of tangency on a circle. So here's a a tangent line right here and here's a chord and they both intersect right here. You treat these just like an inscribed angle. They're half this, uh, of their intercepted arc right there. So if this is 210, take half of that, that's 105 right there, okay? And if we took 210 away from um, uh, 360, we'd find that this arc right here is 150, and then so that means this angle right here is 75. And look at this straight line right here. Straight lines equal 180. 75 plus 105 equals uh, 180 right there, okay? So this is just like, so if the vertex is on the circle, then um, uh, it equals half the intercepted arc. Good morning, Nick. Sorry, I'm doing a video right now, so that's all right. The different angles that are formed inside a circle uh, are half the sum of their intercepted arc and their vertical arc, okay? So we'll focus on this angle one right here and those arcs right there, okay? So this arc right here and the vertical arc over here, okay? They're half the sum, so we add these two, that's what sum means, and take half of it. That's what angle one would be, okay? So angle one is half of this arc plus this arc right here. Okay, sometimes, sometimes uh, this will be the X and they'll give you this and they'll give you this, okay? And then you still do whatever this angle is, is half of this plus this. Okay, sometimes they give you this angle right here. So we find this angle first and then use the straight line trick for 180 to get the other angle right there. Okay, angles that are outside a circle are half the difference. Difference means we subtract, okay? So here's an angle outside the circle, so we subtract the bigger arc right here minus the smaller arc and take half of it right there. So angle one is half of this arc minus this arc right here. All right, all right, so let's uh, try some of these. So let's find the values of X and Y on these guys. Okay, so um, the trick on this is if the vertex is on the circle, then it's half of this arc right here. So we take half of 228 and this guy is gonna be 114 right there, okay? All right, and then we got a straight line right there. Straight lines are equal to 180, so if this is 114, this angles the rest of 180, so we get 66 right there. Okay, all right, this angle here, okay, so here we go. We got this uh, vertex is on the circle, so this angle is half of this arc. So if we know this, then we're gonna double it to get this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right there. So. We're going to multiply that times 2, and we get 236. Now, there's a couple of ways to get angle Y. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, I did the straight line trick. Okay, so if this is 118, and this is the rest of 180 because of the straight line right there, okay? So 62. Another way to do is um, uh, if we know that this arc is 236, then this is the rest of the circle. So we take that off of 360. Either way, you get uh, the, same, the same number right there, okay? So um, uh, Y is double that 62 right there. So if we double that, we get 124. Okay, so 118, this is 62 because of the straight line right there, and then this arc right here is double that angle right there. Remember, if the vertex is on the circle, this angle is half of this arc right there. Okay, let's keep going. So here we go. Let's find X first. So it's inside, so we add those uh, arcs and take half. Okay, so if we add those, take half. Oops, let me move this out of the way. I get 76 right there. Okay, so if that's 76 right there, then we we got that straight line, which is 180, so Y is the rest of 180, so 104. All right, so this one is outside the circle, so we have to subtract these guys. Let's find X first, you guys, okay? So 240 
plus 76 plus x will give us the whole circle of 360 right there, or 44. Okay, and then uh, and then now we can find y outside the circle, so we subtract this arc minus this arc and take half of it. So y is equal to half of 76 minus 44, half of 32 is 16 right there, okay? All right, so here we're going to find, uh, what am I going to find? Uh, look, let's find x. I think I found x first because of this straight line. Did I do that? There's several ways to do that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so x is 78 right there. So put that in there, and then that 78 is half the sum of this arc plus this arc, okay? So we're looking for y, so half y plus 95. That's what 78 is. Okay, get rid of the fraction, multiply both sides by 2, and then subtract 95, and we get y to be 61. All right, outside the circle, so we subtract. Okay, so what we got to do first is find, uh, let's see, this 30 degrees is half of this arc minus this arc okay so let's do that first right there okay so x is the bigger one so multiply both sides by 2 add 44 so now we know that this is 104 right there okay remember a whole circle is 360 so 104 plus 105 plus 44 will give us the rest of this circle right there okay so we take that off of 360 and we get um, 107 so y is equal to 107 all right, so here let's find uh, each arc measure here. So we have this figure right here, and it says find uh, the measure of arc FH. Okay, so FH, here's F, uh, FD, FD, sorry, FD. Okay, so this 50 is equal to half of this arc minus this arc right there. So that's probably what I'm going to do, yep. So angle E is going to be half of the blue arc minus the green arc right there, okay? We know angle E is 50, so now we're going to multiply both sides by 2. And then, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and add this over here to this side and subtract uh, 100 from this side, so we get the measure of arc FD to be 50 right there. Okay, all right, and then I, I color-coded that right there. There's 50, there's 150, there's 64, so this arc right here is the rest of our circle. I called that X, and so we just add that up to be 360, and we get 96 on that. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, you're going to be working on that. Take care.